start line of the Ale La Merck's Grand Fondo in Verona, Italy, Mario Cipollini gave the riders a sneak peek at his new bike. This was the long-awaited follow-up to the bike that launched Cipollini bicycles eight years ago. This was the RB1K. Because we need to, to have a bike that was made for Mario. It means that it has to be faster than the other one. It has to be lighter than the other one. But it's more than a bike that matches Mario Cipollini's riding style. It's a bike that matches his persona. It's flashy, it's exclusive, it's expensive, and it's made almost exclusively in Italy. Cipollini is an Italian-made brand. We represent the real uh, monocoque frame. Where other bikes called monocoque frames are actually bonded together from multiple monocoque sections, the Cipollini RB1K frame, like the RB1000 before it, is made in one single piece in a single mold. There are no glued or bonded joints that are then overwrapped with carbon. The idea was to create a real monocoque frame without interruption inside the frame. This is not only an Italian-made bicycle, this is a monocoque Italian bicycle. The RB1K does possess a unique ride quality. It's obvious at tempo, and even more so on the limit. The poise, the stability, and the confidence the bike inspires remains constant. Drive hard into a corner, and no matter how near the edge you are, the RB1K feels incredibly composed, moving as a single unified structure, confidently going exactly where it is pointed, right on the limit. Monaco gives you a completely different feeling. You can feel the frame always ready to attack. You can feel the frame always ready to make a corner. We have an expensive bicycle only because the effect is completely different. It's something that is not given from the geometry. It's something that is not given from the quality of the carbon, which is the same for all the bicycles that you can find on the industry. It's a technology to develop a new way to produce a carbon frame. And for this, we don't have the problem with the peak of stress in the frame set. We have improved the stiff around 20% for every size. We are around 125 grams for every size, less than the old model. While the bike shrugs off the biggest power we could muster, effortlessly transmitting the entirety of our effort to the road, its predecessor, the RB1000, did the same. We cannot argue with its billing as the Peloton's best sprinting bike. Where the RB1K did truly stun us was in the hills. The combination of a lighter and stiffer frame has created a livelier, crisper bike in the mountains, making the RB1K a bike made for one of the greatest sprinters in the world, one of the best all-around bikes we have ever ridden. Thanks to other updates, the RB1K is also a much easier bike to live with than its predecessor. We have changed the system for the line, for the mechanical group set or for the electronic group set. We have changed also the system for the seat post. We don't use again the integral seat post. You can see here that we use the direct mount and not the caliper. We have the possibility to move up the stem and handlebar with a little cover plus two centimeters. Many of these advances come thanks to Cipollini's parent company, Diamante, which works with some of the biggest names in motorsport. Every part of the production of a frame is made from our company. 80% of the work is done from Italian people that work in Italy. This company are producing pieces for Ducati. We produce also other pieces for the best car on the market like McLaren. The bicycle is a passion for our company. This way we match the Mario experience for the bicycle with the experience that we have with the motorbike and the car. We can create a piece of art, a frame set different than the other.